Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you Hello guys, welcome back. This is a different video than normal. Today um, I'm going to show you how to install SamGis' uh, V14 or higher. First, log in on SamGis' on the dashboard. Go to downloads. Download the key. The uh, SPRX. And the eBoot. Then we get the RSP, the SPRX, the key, and the eBoot. Then we'll make a map called Sam Jesus. Now we have the key and the launcher in the SamJS folder and the eBoot that needs to be in the GTA 5 diary directory. So now we need to, to get it to the PS3. So via Falzilla or just with a old school USB stick. I go for the last one. I find it way easier with a USB. Okay, um, cut and paste. But before we go to the PS3, we need uh, something more. We need a boot plugin. Otherwise, it will not load SimGesses, so this is important. This needs to be in the root of your um, your PS3 HDD. It contains this. This is standard for Webman, and this is what you should need to add. It's also on the website listed. Um, by the install and languages here so yeah and then you need to copy this just to a text format and just if you see this you need to put it down below if you don't have this, just only copy the SimGesis folder. I think it depends only on when you have your webman on. Okay. I will put this for now in SimGesis just to be sure that it is all in. Then we can eject the USB stick and do it in the PS3. I'm opening my capture card. Okay. Go to file manager. This is just standard how you do it normally. You need to copy the boot plugin in the root of your HDD. Here I have mine already, so. But you guys need to uh, paste it here. 
then we need to go back to the SimGist folder and we need to pick up the eBoot go to game, go to the GTA 5 directory and this is a another eBoot of a, another menu so we need to delete that one and paste this one then we need to go back to the USB SimGesses and then we can delete this one this one's already done delete okay then we need to copy the wall folder to the TMP file uh, folder down below here mm. to be sure I delete this one this is for a, another video the gallery paste it here and then if all if it's all good you have just uh, only this two one left yeah this one will send uh, just send the ps3 to the subject folder so that needs to be all good and then we are ready to load up gta5 yeah there um, you need to be short online or SimGist will not load and you will get a message that it's installed maybe uh, after a short reboot I would need to turn it on Hopefully I will get the message This is what I mean, uh, you get the message, a new version of SimGis has been installed That's good, then uh, you know it is um, it is working so yeah you need to just um, go to GTA 5 no matter where you launch it then we need to do all this stuff just to be sure to not get banned Ninja then I do just to be sure I do R2 plus a uh, triangle just I don't know to be more sure I will not get banned that we can safely set on the uh, turn on the internet and then sign in and 
now we can load on Grand Theft Auto. After the language selection you will get a welcome message and there you know it's all good, you installed it right. Yeah, this is what I mean. To be sure I suggest to uh, wait before story mode is loaded. This is just to be sure it's all loaded fine because with uh, some menus um, if you go directly online it will not load so yeah that's my issue with this. I had a really long break uh, before I uh, released videos so for me this was new but I found it out myself with the with help uh, from the tutorial of uh, Sam Jesses on the Sam Jesses website but never was listed that you need to turn on the internet before it will work so yeah This is why I made this tutorial, it was requested on Discord, because it's different than uh, other versions. And there you go, a working in SMGSs. I hope you guys fo uh, you found this uh, tutorial uh, informative. And please subscribe and like if you if you uh, like. And yeah, I see you guys in the next one.